you're tired of posting on YouTube, simply to have your posts flop, but then you look at your competitors or other creators on YouTube and you see them post putting in about the same effort as you and you see them getting subscribers day in and day out and you want that to be you, well, you're in the right place because by the end of this video, I'm gonna share with you a checklist that's going to tell you everything that you need to be doing differently to get subscribers on YouTube the easy way. In fact, I gain hundreds, if not thousands of subscribers every single day on YouTube. And I've been doing that for years and I want you to do the same exact thing, which is exactly why you need to implement this blueprint, which is gonna tell you the best hashtags to use, the best time to post, the best lengths to post, and even how to create better titles so that you can increase the reach on your YouTube content. All of that being said, the last tip that I share with you is by far the most important, so please make sure you stick around for it. In fact, this creator implemented the last tip and gained over 100,000 subscribers in just a 30-day period, and this creator implemented it and gained over 400,000 subscribers. And if you want results like that, you need to make sure that you watch this video all the way through to the end. Step number one is you need to be using the right hashtags, but more importantly, you need to be using hashtags the right way. You should only be using hashtags in your titles on YouTube Shorts. You should never be using more than three hashtags, and you need to make sure that whatever hashtags you're going to be choosing, they fit the four hashtag strategies I'm about to share with you, and don't deviate from that. The first hashtag strategy is just hashtag shorts. The second is hashtag shorts and one niche specific hashtag. The second is hashtag shorts and two niche specific hashtags. And then the final hashtag strategy is hashtag short without an S at the end. You're probably wondering, Rob, is this really going to make a difference? And it will make a difference if you're trying to expand the reach of the pieces of content that you're trying to get, and if you don't have a lot of subscribers right now. If you already have a ton of subscribers, adding hashtags isn't gonna make a huge difference, but if you have less than 100,000 subscribers, it'll probably make a difference in you increasing the amount of reach that you're getting if you're using relevant hashtags and only including them at the end of your title. And please, remember, you should never, never, never be using hashtags that are longer than the actual title that you're using. So if your title is 50 characters, your hashtags shouldn't be over 50 characters. Before I can share with you the best time to be posting on YouTube right now, I need you to smash that subscribe button because if you wanna grow quicker on YouTube, Instagram, or TikTok, literally upload a video every single day about how to grow on these platforms. In addition to that, the YouTube algorithm has recently changed. So go to the pinned comment below, get into my free YouTube growth course. It's gonna to explain to you exactly how the algorithm works so that you can increase your views and increase your subscribers. What are you waiting for? It's literally 100% free. All you have to do is go to the pinned comment below and sign up right now. So now that you know exactly what hashtags to be using, you need to make sure that you're posting at the right time on YouTube. Now there are three time slots that you should be posting in if you go to the audience section and do not see when very many viewers are online. If you cannot see that statistic within your analytics, then you need to be posting during these three time slots for the time zone in which you're currently located. The first one is 10 to 11.30 a.m. The second from three to 4 p.m. And then finally from six to 9 p.m. Now in the beginning, I want you testing all three of those time slots. But what you're going to find is that one or two of them work better than all the other ones. And then what should you do when you know what that is? You should only be posting content that's in those time slots because otherwise you would be being ignorant and significantly decreasing the amount of views that you get in a short period of time. Now I know you're gonna say, Rob, but I thought the time you posted on YouTube doesn't matter. The time that you post on YouTube over a long period of time might not matter. So if you post something at an off time and then you wait a year, it might end up getting the amount of views that it would have gotten anyway, but in a short window of time, six hours, 12 hours, 24 hours, it's going to make a massive difference whether or not you post at the right time on YouTube, because think about it. If you upload at three o'clock in the morning and your ideal audience is asleep, then obviously you're going to get no views and the people that do watch your content aren't going to be in your ideal audience. And this is going to decrease the stats that you get on that video. And boom, this leads to a decrease in the amount of views that you end up getting. The third part of this checklist that you need to make sure that you're doing, and this is where most creators are going to mess up, so you need to pay close attention to this, is that you need to make sure that you're simply building off of the things that already exist on YouTube. If you do a search for a piece of content that you're about to create and you see nothing come up, that's a sign that I wouldn't invest your time or your energy into creating that. Instead, when you do a search, you're gonna wanna see other creators that have gotten a lot of views in the last one to three months. If that's not the case, then you're probably not gonna wanna create that piece of content. So if, once you do find that, I need you to look at three different things. First, what title did they choose? Secondly, how did they hook people in the first five seconds? And third, what was the format and length of their content? And now what you need to do is build off of this. You might wanna use the same format, but create a better hook. You're gonna to wanna to use around the same title, but you're gonna to wanna to make it better. Let me give you a perfect example. If somebody in my niche made a video about how to get a thousand subscribers on YouTube in 10 minutes, you know how I would make it better? I would make a video, how to get a thousand subscribers on YouTube in five minutes. And all I would do is create my video in five minutes and have ideas 
ideally the same or better information as their video, but their video was 10 minutes. And you see what I did there? I made the video better for my audience because instead of them having to waste 10 minutes to watch a video, now they can get the same information in five and that ends up building on what already existed. So I know that there's an audience for that piece of content. And as a result, I end up getting more views and more subscribers than my competitors on YouTube because ultimately I'm providing more value to my audience. But this didn't start with me starting from scratch. It started with me building based off of what was already there. And that is how life works. That's how we continue to get better as a species. That's how products continue to improve. They don't start over from scratch every single time. So why would you do that on YouTube? And this brings me to a major part of this video, which is that you need to actually be choosing the right lengths for your content. If you are not choosing the right length that you're going after on YouTube, it's a massive mistake and it could actually decrease the amount of views that you're getting. There are three best lengths right now, from 12 to 15 seconds long, from 24 to 30 seconds long, and 55 to 60 seconds long. If you're creating content that's way shorter than that, it's way longer than that, well, you couldn't if it's a short, but kind of in the middle there, well, then that could be one of the reasons that you're not getting a lot of views because the way that YouTube categorizes what kind of content they're gonna to show to people is not only based off of the topic, not only based off the analytics, but also based off of the length. So people that watch videos about crypto that are 13 seconds long, they don't get served 30 second long crypto videos, which is why your 30 second long crypto video isn't doing well and you guys get the point. So you need to be sticking to those three time slots, but you also need to make sure that you're implementing this last tip because it's by far the most important when it comes to growing on YouTube. And that is that when something works, you need to double down on it. I know. It sounds simple, but you'd be so surprised that you're probably going to ignore this fact and so many other creators ignore this fact. But the creators that actually end up growing on YouTube, they understand this and when something works, be it a format, be it a topic, be it a length, they end up doubling down on it and they build on that success instead of starting from scratch every single time that they post. And if you're not growing on YouTube, that's probably what you're doing. Or it might be because you've never had an outside perspective and have never had somebody that actually knows what they're talking about look at your account and I wanna do that for you. In fact, I wanna look at your channel, tell you exactly what to post, when to post, what hashtags to use, everything specific to your channel, guaranteed that you get more subscribers in the next 30 days. That sounds interesting to you? Well, please keep watching this video because all you have and the most valuable thing that you have is your time. And I don't want you to waste your time trying to figure out the things that I already know that you need to change on your YouTube channel. The opportunity to grow on YouTube and this organic reach that we're currently seeing is not going to last forever. And there are two things holding you back right now. The first one is that you haven't implemented everything that I just shared with you in this video. And the second is that you haven't gotten into my YouTube mentorship program yet, which literally is going to guarantee that I help you get more subscribers on YouTube in the next 30 days, or you get your money back, zero questions asked. In fact, the average person that's gone through this program in the last 30 days has gained over 31,000 subscribers. And the lowest amount of subscribers anybody has ever gained is a thousand subscribers if they implement everything that I share with them in this video. If you want results like that, please go to the link in the description below and sign up right now. Because if you're still watching this video, I'm gonna guess that you're above average. So the odds of you getting over 31,000 subscribers is probably quite high. And if you don't remember, you need a thousand subscribers in order to get monetized on YouTube. So this is a perfect opportunity for you to make more money from YouTube and for you to set yourself up to become a full-time YouTuber. In fact, I'm gonna tell you exactly what to post, when to post, what hashtags to use, again, to guarantee that you get more subscribers on YouTube. If you don't get more subscribers, I will give you your money back, zero questions asked. And it doesn't matter what your background is or what your niche is. This program is designed to help you get more subscribers faster and easier. Ultimately, it's going to get you more subscribers or your money back. This creator just went through it and gained over 100,000 subscribers. This creator, over 150,000 subscribers. And this creator, over 400,000 subscribers. And I want you to be my next success story. And I want you to be the next person that makes a full-time living from YouTube. So please, go to the link in the description below. Sign up right now. You literally have absolutely nothing to lose. You're going to get more subscribers or you're going to get your money back. If you're not interested in those two things, please watch the next two videos I put up on the screen because they're the videos YouTube thinks you should watch next. Thank you so much for watching.